Hey guys, Gina back with another collection video. I wanted to make a few more of my vintage inspired Halloween videos for you guys before the turkey day comes <laughs> and the Christmas holiday season rolls around. And I'm getting ready to take this down and pack it up. Oh man. But you know what? I'm so excited because I have new stuff for Thanksgiving and a ton of new vintage Christmas that I'm super excited to set out this year. And I hope if you guys aren't subscribed to me and you love vintage holiday decorations, please click that subscribe button. Woo! I would love for you guys to be notified when the next videos come out because I think it's going to be a lot of fun unboxing the things. I've gone to yard sales and estate finds and things I've bought on Marketplace and I can't even remember half the things that I picked out yet because I've just been putting them in boxes. So it'll be fun to unbox all that stuff and then see how I decorate this year. But let's stay on Halloween. So this is my jack-o'-lantern Halloween tree. This is brand new for this year. I found the black tree at a yard sale and the lady charged me $5 for it. And I had a rotating Christmas tree stand, which I got, gosh, I don't know, five years ago. And I haven't used it yet. And I said, this is gonna be perfect. So this is what I came up with for this year. There are so many fun trick-or-treat pails and jack-o'-lanterns on this tree. Let's go take a closer look. These three guys are all the same and they are made from Grand Venture 1997 made in USA. Wash before use, indoor, outdoor. <laughs> I love these pails so much. There's so much detail to them. They got eyebrows and super cute cheeks, but they are adorable. And I just stack them up like this. Another stack I have, as I'll come over here, is I started making a rainbow stack <laughs> of different colors. And I just love them because each one is different. Now, some of these are newer, some of them are older. This is a general foam plastic. This one is general foam. And this blue one, which I love because it's just got the same amount of detail. This is general foam too. Now, another YouTuber told me how to tell the date. So this is from 2009. So that's pretty cool now that I can tell the date on there. But I just love putting them together and having a big old rainbow stack of pumpkins. Hopefully I can find a green one and a yellow one someday because that would be really cool. I think there's also a red one. Then we have these two guys with the classic jack-o'-lantern face. And they're older. They've got this thick handle right here. Let's see if these, no name and barcode. <laughs> but they are older because of the rivets right there holding the pumpkin handle on. And way back here, let's dig this guy out. He is cool. I'm not sure if this was an ice cream bucket or a popcorn bucket, but it is very cool. So much detail on it. This was made by Shamrock Industries. I think it was ice cream. Shamrock is a dairy company over on the west side. I don't know if the east coast has Shamrock Farms, but the west coast definitely does. This next bucket is huge. It's the biggest one I own and probably one of the oldest. This one says Carolina Enterprises, Inc. 1982. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it's huge. <laughs> and it's old because it's got the riveted handle again. This guy is pretty cool. He doesn't work, so I don't know if he needs new light bulbs or if the wire needs to be checked out somehow, but it's very cool, jack-o'-lantern, because it's a flashlight for safekeeping. And then look at his smile, <laughs> a little cockeyed smile, but there's the battery pack in the bottom. It's a very cool jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. It is heavy though, so <laughs> a kid, if you got a ton of candy in there, ugh, I don't know. Mommy, can you carry my bucket? 
We got one more down at the bottom. This one has a ton of detail on it. Someone has a nice illustration going. What do you think that tombstone says? <laughs> this one, Shamrock Industries. Mm, can you imagine getting your ice cream like that? Oh, look it. If I looked closer, Minnesota, Minneapolis. So yeah, I guess Shamrock is all over the country. Very cool. Here at the bottom, this is just your general run of the mill. You can get this every year, pretty much at Walmart or Target. This is just a regular jack-o'-lantern. Then we have a smaller version of one of the ones I showed you earlier. So this will be another no-namer. This guy is really cool, very interesting face. Let's see if he's got some markings on it. This one says General Foam Corporation, but it does not have a date. Then this guy, and he's an older one. I'll show you this side right there. He's neat. He's just your standard little toothy grin. This one says Empire. Empire is cool. They make a ton of really neat blow molds. Here's another smaller version of the big one I showed you. These are cool buckets. That one is no name. This one actually has a cool rubber handle. I'm gonna turn the tree on and spin around to the other side. Here is that same pumpkin in orange, just like the blue one I showed you earlier. This pumpkin is awesome. If you look at the back, it's got a surprise. So this is called a Renzi jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, and these are so cool. There's so many different sizes and so many different extra graphics on the back. Like there's witches, there's ghosts, there's all kinds of stuff. And I found that one, I think, through an estate sale and it was in a box full of glitter. So <laughs> I tried to get most of the glitter off, but he sparkles when he spins. <laughs> then here's another big, big jack-o'-lantern. No name, but very cool, sharp pointed teeth. Then this guy is a newer one, but he's got such a fun face. I put him on the tree. Then not a jack-o'-lantern, but a kitty cat. I got this one at a yard sale once upon a time, and I just fell in love with it right away. This one is General Foam, same company. They make a bunch of blow molds too. Tuck him back in there. He's got such a cute little face, like a little studded collar. What a stud. <laughs> then we have a Mickey Mouse jack-o'-lantern. He is so cool, you guys. And the back of him says, trick or treat. Is there a date on him? Oh yes, let's see. Let's see if I can do my thing. Where's the arrow? Oh gosh, 2015 probably. Not very old, but very cool. Harrison loves this one. I got this guy from a curbside. Um, a person had put a bunch of Halloween decorations out on the side of the road for free. And I went and picked it up. And this is Empire. And then it still has the tag. Very cool. I love that stuff. And nothing's better than free, right? Now you can see there's a bunch of little jack-o'-lanterns sprinkled throughout the tree. I have little container pumpkins, little candy pails. Then I have a couple of these guys. Now, I'm not sure. I've got it stuck inside there. All right. Now these guys, this guy has a hole on the top. And things so this guy was a pail at some time but if you come around here there's another one now this one does not have a hole on top 
but it does have a hole in the bottom. And I think it actually went to a little light. So it had a black base on the bottom and then it just stuck on top right there. But those are definitely older. I've showed you guys this guy in an estate hall that I picked up. There's a glow in the dark Frankenstein. This guy is really cool. I love how they put the red detail to make it extra. But there's all kinds of little guys on here. And these are all things that I've just picked up from yard sales, thrift stores. This guy is kind of cool because he's kind of like a translucent orange color, which is very cool. And I think that's it for pumpkins. I'll give you guys the big view right here. Everything on there. I had so much fun putting this tree together this year. It was a lot of fun having a Halloween tree. And up at the top, I have my trick or treat blow mold flashlight. Treat on one side, trick on the other. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys would like to see a nighttime shot of this, we filmed a decorations tour and I will put the link below. All right guys, I'll see you soon.